Ladies and gentlemen, Lola. She is probably the world's cutest dog. And she absolutely loves me. Do you love me? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. See? She wants nothing but to be loved. Right? Thank you. Yes. I know. I know. I know. How adorable is she? Um, <coughs> there's Lola. Um, I mean, this is, she's a cuddler. What can I say? There's times when she gets, if she gets upset, let's say she gets bad and she, she gets out of hand. Thank you, Lola. Thank you. Yes. If she gets out of hand. Okay. Okay. We are great. Great. So if she gets, uh, okay. So Lola might at times get out of hand and in that case, we have used this before. This is a shock collar. Um, it goes on the dog's neck, you know, like so. You give it a little shock, she doesn't, she stops being bad, let's put it that way. Um, and we've used it before, we've had to. Uh, sometimes she's gotten out of control. But today, the dog is not the one to be shocked. Today, I, Jonathan Karp, I'm gonna put myself into my dog's paws. I'm going to really try to get an understanding of what it's like when you get shocked by a shock collar. So, I am going to shock myself. Now, this shock collar, we'll put it up, we'll put it up here, okay? And um, I am going to, we're going to put it on a small little thing right now. No, Lola, you don't want to get, no. Um, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna feel, this is like, kind of like the, the, the level that we would shock Lola at. Oh, okay. It's like, it's like a, uh, like a little, like a little twinge, nothing really big. So, but for the sake of having absolutely nothing to do right now, and aside from the sheer curiosity and pleasure, I am going to really raise the stakes here, and we are going to give a good shock to me. So, on the count of three, we're going to do this. My mother's phone is going off in the background, don't mind that music. One, two, three. Johnny Knoxville, welcome to Jackass.